This vitamin will solve all your problems. It eliminates varicose veins, treats venous insufficiency, and relieves that unpleasant feeling in your legs. Usually videos about vitamins are supposed to start like this, right? But today, in this video, we want to examine the real truth about the effects of vitamins on veins and see whether vitamins actually do anything to treat varicose veins. Can they reduce that uncomfortable feeling in your legs and eliminate venous insufficiency? This video is going to be completely honest. Be sure to watch until the end and let me know your thoughts. Our goal here is to talk to you simply, honestly, and based on evidence-based medical principles. In the description, I'll include a free varicose vein test that you can use to assess the condition of your veins, and if necessary, you can connect with a relevant doctor in your own city. When I was asked to make a video about vitamins, the first thing I did was to turn it down, because the topic of vitamins hasn't been thoroughly studied in medicine, and it's hard to make strong scientific claims about it. But since you ask a lot of questions about this, and it's generally a popular topic that you dear friends are interested in, I decided to look into it more closely. And today, I'm ready to share my conclusions with you. After reviewing various vitamins, my mind became really confused. So let's try to organize everything today and examine this topic thoroughly. You wake up in the middle of the night with a muscle cramp and your sleep is ruined. In this situation, you're probably prescribed magnesium and vitamin D. Now, let's ask evidence-based medicine what the research says. So, I turn to the research. Here we have a review of clinical studies, meaning they gather and analyze the results of several studies together. A review conducted in 2020 with more than 700 participants showed that magnesium doesn't have a significant effect on relieving or reducing muscle cramps. In other words, its effect was very minimal. Moreover, regarding the effect of magnesium on symptoms of venous insufficiency and chronic vascular diseases, unfortunately, no strong evidence was found. But the story with vitamin D is completely different. The research on this was very extensive and nearly 50,000 people participated in various studies. These were truly large-scale studies and their positive effects on the cardiovascular system have been confirmed. Specifically, improvements in vascular parameters have been observed, which refers to the effect on endothelial function, meaning the inner lining of the blood vessels. Here, the focus has mostly been on the walls of arteries rather than veins, but in any case, what is good for arteries is also good for veins. So overall, improving blood flow has a positive effect on the entire cardiovascular system. So we give this a green light and it gets approved. The next finding regarding vitamin D was a reduction in oxidative stress. When oxidative stress occurs, a number of elements are produced that not only damage the walls of blood vessels but also harm all the cells in the body. When vitamin D levels are sufficient, this damaging effect is reduced. And another very important point, especially when we're talking about venous problems, is that it has been observed that vitamin D deficiency significantly increases the risk of blood clots, or in medical terms, venous thromboembolism. In simpler terms, people who had a vitamin D deficiency were more likely to develop thrombosis or blood clots. So where can we find vitamin D? First and foremost, vitamin D means sunlight, fish oil, and of course, various supplements. So try to spend more time outdoors. Get some sun and make sure to include fish, fish oil, and other sources of vitamin D in your diet. Do you want your blood vessels to stay healthy and never age? Then be sure to remember this vitamin. We're talking about vitamin C. You've probably heard this in other reviews, but now let's see what clinical research says and whether it confirms it or not. If we look at reliable sources, vitamin C has been studied for a long time. I should say that its positive effect on the inner walls of blood vessels has really been confirmed, but only on arteries. Let me put it this way, vitamin C doesn't have a significant effect on veins, but it really does improve the function of the inner layer of blood vessels. It's also been found that this effect is dose-dependent, meaning the more vitamin C you take, the greater the effect. This effect has been especially observed in patients with cardiovascular problems, such as atherosclerosis, diabetes, and heart failure. So it can be said that vitamin C is truly beneficial for the blood vessels, but no proven effect has been seen on veins or varicose veins, or it simply hasn't been studied. In addition, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. This has also been confirmed by research because it reduces the harmful effects of hydrogen peroxide, which is produced during the body's oxidation processes. Where can we find vitamin C? It's abundant in berries, citrus fruits, and bell peppers. Supplements like coenzyme Q10 and L-arginine promise to restore the flexibility of our blood vessels and bring back youthfulness. 
Let's get back to the clinical research. To sum up, coenzyme Q10 has really shown a positive effect on the inner walls of arteries. Coenzyme Q10 really shows a positive effect on the inner walls of arteries, but no significant effect has been found or studied on veins. As for elagenine, older and newer studies differ from each other. The older studies, which weren't very large, showed that it improves the intermittent claudication index. What does that mean? In atherosclerosis, when plaques narrow the blood vessels, it becomes difficult for blood to reach the legs. In this situation, the patient can walk a certain distance. For example, after walking 1 to 200 meters or sometimes 500 meters, their leg starts to hurt and they have to stop for a minute or two until the pain subsides so they can walk again. Older studies suggested that L-arginine increases the pain-free walking distance. But newer and more recent research is much more cautious and does not confirm any significant effect. If you want to take L-arginine, it can be found in sesame, oranges and broccoli. Coenzyme Q10 is also found in nuts and legumes. A lot of attention is given to B vitamins, especially vitamin B9, also known as folic acid. Some headlines even claim that if you don't take vitamin B9, your blood vessels will become inflamed. Let's see if that's really the case. A study in 2007 was conducted on 5,000 people. The participants were divided into two different groups. One group took folic acid and the other group did not. The result was that taking or not taking folic acid had no significant effect on the frequency of venous problems, especially deep vein thrombosis or DVT. In other words, the rate of clotting was the same in both groups. Another study shows that vitamin B9 has a positive effect on endothelial function, or the vessel wall. That is, it helps relax and dilate the blood vessels, which improves the function of the arteries. But let me mention an important point here. There are some diseases in which taking B9 is essential. For example, the disease hyperhomocysteinemia, which is high blood homocysteine. This is a direct reason for its regular use. As for the other important B vitamins like B6, B1, and B12, their effects on venous function, blood clotting, or symptoms of venous insufficiency have not been proven. And now an important point that many people overlook is that there is no magic vitamin that can save your veins. It doesn't work that way. There is no special magic pill that fixes everything and suddenly gives you health, youth, and a great appearance. Unfortunately, that's not how reality works. Yes, vitamins have a supportive and combined effect. So to have healthy veins and arteries, let me tell you a few simple things you can do. First, physical activity. Make sure to walk at least 30 to 40 minutes every day. Second, if you have varicose veins, use compression stockings, preferably class 2 compression. Drink plenty of water and maintain an active lifestyle. Physical activity is generally great for blood circulation. It helps improve venous blood return and ensures blood moves in the right direction. Go swimming, ride a bicycle, go skiing. In short, you already know what to do. Stay active throughout the day. Be sure to elevate your legs a bit and don't forget to eat healthy. And now about taking medication on your own. Never do this. Don't prescribe medication for yourself. Don't prescribe vitamins for yourself. Don't take supplements unnecessarily either. Go see a doctor to check your health status. Get some tests done. Find out what deficiencies you have and then if you want to take anything, do it after consulting a qualified specialist. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and comment. Watch these videos too. For more information, until the next video, take care.